Welcome to Pam Look, your daily dose of the Cincinnati Art Museum. Each weekday, a staff member or a volunteer will be sharing an object from the permanent collection and posing questions for discussion. Please check back at 10 a.m. every day for our new work and a new conversation. I'm Kathy, a docent at the Art Museum. I am an art lover and became a docent to share my love of art. But I, to, if I'm completely honest, there are still pieces in the museum that I am not sure I like. But I have learned if I spend time with a piece that I don't like, I learn a bit about myself and gain greater appreciation for the work. So today I'm sharing with you one piece I ponder over. It is entitled Green Panel with Orange Curve by the American artist Ellsworth Kelly, painted in 1989. You can find this piece on the third floor of the art museum. So let's look. This piece is two customized shaped canvases affixed to each other on one side. One green rectangle on the left, an orange curved top triangle to the right. The paint is applied solid and flat on both canvases. The human touch is absent, as is the brush stroke. The paint could be applied with a roller brush, as far as we can guess. Now let's spend some time with it. Really look. What do you feel about this artwork? I find initially discovering a feeling is rather hard. There is no subject to which to attach yourself. I only have color, shape, and size to influence me. Well, no, I also have the space around the canvases, the negative spaces, the wall space, which seems to be just as important as the art. The colors are both equally vibrant. And to me, there seems to be a tension at the point where the two canvases meet. I'm wondering, are these two canvases coming out at us or providing a passage to somewhere else? Upon reading about Ellsworth Kelly, I discovered that he is an American artist whose key focus was on the dynamic relationships between shape, form, and color. As we can see here, he produced multi-paneled, brightly colored, monochromatic, irregular canvases which he created himself. Later in his career, he continued to challenge viewers conceptions of space in layered reliefs, flat sculptures, and line drawings. Why would an artist paint artwork with open field of color which are devoid of human touch? Maybe it's because it is the opposite of another movement about this time of abstract expressionism, which included William de Koenig and Jackson Pollock's gestural movement and energy paintings. So this is a reaction to what was going on at the time. Ellsworth Kelly played a vital role in influencing the development of minimalism, hard edge painting, color field, and pop art. Now look more. Does it seem to promote silence or meditation? Does its flat color consistency promote a dreaminess or a chance for contemplation? How does the color orange and green affect you? How does his color of choice affect your response? To my surprise, I discovered Kelly designed a chapel in Austin, Texas that demonstrates his desire for visual serenity through the use of pure form and color. It is a delightfully small, simple structure built in 1986 for public contemplation space. How does the transference of color of paint to light change your feeling about Kelly's work? Does it make it more spiritual for you? Getting back to the piece, do I like it now? I think so. I will plan the next time I go to the museum for more time to sit and meditate in front of it. How about you? Do you like this artwork? If you didn't, will you now give this piece a second look?